Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be teaching you on how to set up and customize the layout for the JPanel. The JPanel already has a layout installed and configured. That layout is called the flow layout. So without anything type in for the layout, then we really got the layout installed because that's the default layout for the JPanels. But we can't customize it because there's nothing we can type on for the layout. So in order to do that, we have to set up our own flow layout instead of Java making it for ourselves. So in order to use that layout function, then we had to set the layout onto the JPanel. So we gotta use that variable from the object and type in jp.setLayout. Semicolon. And inside the parentheses, remember that we want to customize the flow layout. Alright, then we gotta use the flow layout from the class called the flow layout. <laughs> And in order to use that class, we got to do yeah we got to use the object which is new flow layout. Open close parentheses. And the reason why there's an error is because that Java doesn't know like where the class came from. So we got to tell Java that we want this class from the library. And and as you can see, that Eclipse made it for ourselves, so that's pretty good. So let's see what our program looks like. Yep, as you can see that there are three buttons onto the middle of the window. Yeah, onto the middle window. If there's no line here, like if there, like this line right here doesn't exist, then it'll be the same three buttons will be in the middle still. So in order to customize it, we can type in a number. Let's type in two. And what it does is that it will align two pixels to the right. So, yep, you can see that right now, two pixels to the right. What if I want to make this button, make these buttons line to the left instead of the right. You just type in the minus sign and L line two pixels to the left. Yep, you can see that here now. Alright, let's set it back to one. And if we type in another number in, then that number will be the horizontal gap, meaning that the buns will be separated from each other depending on how many pixels pixels that we specify Sp specify I mean <laughs> can't talk right now guys sorry so yeah this is horizontal horizontal gap five and we have to type in the third number which is the vertical gap so let's type in 100 and actually let's make this 100 so you can see what it does really. As you can see, we don't see any numbers onto the window because we told Java that we want to have a 100 pixels horizontal, or not horizontal, vertical, vertical gap between the top of the window. And yeah. And we can see that we use 100 pixels to separate from each other and you can see that right now alright well yeah this concludes my tutorial over uh, flow layout so stay tuned for my next tutorial and thanks for watching